thank you guys so much for taking the time to meet with us today. We are super excited to interview you guys and hear all about your love story and wedding planning. Let's hear a little bit about yourself individually. Uh, sure. Uh, my name is Tak, or Artak, as uh, some of you might know me. Originally from Yerevan, Armenia. I've been here since 1989. Uh, I'm a graphic artist, work in television for about close to 10 something years. Yeah. Worked in animation before that. Um, before that, I worked on a golf course. <laughs> uh, I'm Sona. It's legally not my first name, though. That's something not many people know about me. My legal first name is Tallinn. I don't know why that would be important, but it is. So uh, is Sona your middle name? Or? Sona's my middle name. Okay. I've been going by Sona since I was a month old. I'm getting way <laughs> too deep now. Going way you back, asked a very simple back. question, and I'm like, <laughs> legally, my social security number. You never tell anybody that you're Tali. I know. I don't know why I, I did. I yeah. felt compelled yeah. to tell you that. This is like exclusive. I yeah. love it. This is exclusive. <laughs> Born and raised in Los Angeles. I work. Uh, I also work in TV. Uh, I worked at NBC for four years and now I work for Conan O'Brien and have worked for him for about almost 10 years. Uh, I think most people know that about you, that you've been <laughs> with Conan. And so let's talk a little bit about how you guys met. Uh, sure, we met at Comic-Con oh. actually. Yeah. yeah. I was there for work and you were there because... I was just hanging out, I always wanted to go. <laughs> he likes comic books. I was loitering around. Yeah. And uh, she said, I said, hey, you're, you're Sona and she said, Nice Chewbacca outfit, and I said, oh, thanks. <laughs> and I was going was around it. complimenting all the Chewbaccas. Yeah. Um, but also, I mean, I, I mean, he wasn't in a Chewbacca outfit. That was a joke. That no, was just okay. my, yeah. just my body hair. No, I would not. I would not hit on a guy in a Chewbacca outfit. I just need to make sure everybody knows that. All right, he was walking around with his friend Katie. I was walking around with my friend David. David and Katie knew each other. They ran into each other in the crowd of 100,000 people, and then we started talking. And First, I just thought she was someone's cousin. And, you know, that's <laughs> of course. like cousin, right? <laughs> Did you recognize her? Uh, he, yeah, but after a little bit. At first, I was like, I know you from somewhere. You're so-and-so's cousin or no, blah, blah, blah. And then um, I was like, no, wait, you're that Sona. <laughs> yes. Boop. Yeah. Uh, you guys start dating soon after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was like pretty a soon. a month after that. We, so not we, that soon. We Facebooked for you know for a we little bit. We were sussing each other out because yeah. we had a really brief Comic Con conversation. Yeah. We dipped some toes in the waters, you know. <laughs> just to test it out. We were yeah. toe dipping for we were about toe a month. Dipping. So what? These that was. What year was that? 2016. Well, uh, uh, I did run into a lamppost on our first date. <laughs> <laughs> on your first date? Yeah, we went for a lunch date uh, at a sushi place. and uh, It was, was a like, space heater. A uh, space heater, that's what it was. <laughs> lamppost, space heater, whatever. And uh, yeah, I was like talking to her and he's like, bam. <laughs> I <laughs> I met up with him, and then he's like, oh, hey, and he turned around and walked straight into his face. <laughs> there was, it was a weird sushi place. Remember they had that sake mm -hmm. uh, thing, pitcher, but it had a hole in it, and uh -huh. she's like, oh, you have to pour it this way so the sake doesn't fall out. Yeah, the guy spent like a good five minutes explaining how to pour it out, and I just went, ah, oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he, he smelled all the sake everywhere. <laughs> Like, I'm never going out with this guy again. What a loser. It started off great. <laughs> oh, no. Was there another moment where it actually think he knew this was pretty serious? I think it's when I took her to City Walk. <laughs> Such a romantic. Yeah. When he, yeah. Rock, Probably for me when he took me to City Walk yeah. and I wasn't like, why is this guy taking me to City Walk? <laughs> I haven't been on any dates for a long time. I don't know. It's like City Walk, right? That's where people City go. Is cool. That's where people like, go. That's a cool <laughs> spot. Let's spend twenty dollars on parking and go <laughs> see a giant neon. There's a, king, there's a king Kong. You can't go wrong. <laughs> we'll go eat the delicious cuisine yeah. at Hard Rock. Bubba Gump. There's that other place. You know. City Walk is disgusting. <laughs> There's a saddle ranch there that all of like a lot of my coworkers used to go to. 
And they had a metal detector at the Saddle Ranch in City Walk. Really? Yeah, because there was such a shady clientele that went there. And that's where he took me. Not yeah, Saddle Ranch. That took her to a classy okay. hard he rock. Me to, no, he took me to hard rock. Okay. Yeah. That's a little bit better. Yeah. yeah, and he made me go see a horror movie, and I hate horror movies. Uh, yeah, it was a movie called Lights Out, and it was just basically like a <laughs> every two seconds. That's all it was. It was just jump scares, you know, yeah. for two hours. I peed my pants. Yeah. It was I awkward. Hate, I hate horror movies. Is that another exclusive we just got? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I peed my pants. Thank you. <laughs> my name, my first name is Tallinn, and I peed my pants. <laughs> So now let's fast forward to the point of the proposal. Uh, kind of came together fast. Uh, we, we were going to go to Hawaii for something, right? It was, it was like a family reunion type thing. She was going to meet up with her Aussie uh, Australian cousins. And I was like, oh, that's a good opportunity. So I kind of went and uh, got the ring from you know, downtown, did that whole thing because my friend's in the jewelry business, you know? Of course. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> of course. Yeah. So we went into the, you know, the jewelry jungles over there and um, <laughs> got a big ass rock and we went to Hawaii. We were with my cousins most of the time mm -hmm. and then we decided we would just take a day, we rented a Jeep and we would just drive all over Oahu. Yeah, it was like the last last two days? Last, well, last mm -hmm. couple days and then mm -hmm. we went to this one area that had, it was this really beautiful park and you hike and then you go into this like waterfall with a big natural like swimming pool yeah it's a waterfall with just a like a basin of water and it's just really deep so they basin. make you sorry <laughs> basin of, basin's not the right word either it's, it's not it's a it's, big thing yeah. you swim in it what is it it's a natural swimming pool yeah okay it is isn't it I'm done. I don't know, you're talking <laughs> to ESL people here, good so. now that he's gone no it was a big natural and then we like Went in, started swimming, and then he, he, he asked me, but he's, you asked me in a way that was very like, is getting married something that like, I would consider one day? Not like, it, Did it didn't seem very definitive. No. You were, sounded like you were like, hey, would you ever want to get married? No, kind of no, thing. no. I said, hey, do you want to get married? Okay. That's what I said. I think I got confused <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I would. That would be nice. But I didn't know he was proposing to and me. And then you said, are you serious? And I said, yeah. And that was it. So you guys were inside the water when you proposed? Yeah. yeah. Wow, we so were, did you have the ring with you? Or? No, no, but that's, that's, yeah. a, that's the scary part. I left the ring in the bag and I was just constantly like, I was like, hey, <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna get married? <laughs> so, cause it was like a lot of people walking around. I was like, oh man, I just spent like a crap ton of money on this thing. <laughs> but it was funny because uh, it was a deep, swimming area so they made us wear these life vests yeah so I was technically I was on my knee but I was just floating you know it's a very non-traditional proposal yeah. scene it was a water proposal <laughs> yeah 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 and then we got out of the water and then we were like walking and he's like let me find something I could put on your finger temporarily until I get a ring I was like cool and so I was just standing there and he came out with the ring and I was like Oh, he actually yeah. planned I walked, this. I walked in the bush. I thought it was like, like a spur of the moment thing, but yeah, I didn't know he had actually like planned it. Mm -hmm. So how long were you guys together before you proposed? A year and three I months. Okay. And stuff. your family was there to celebrate with you? No, not everybody. But my cousins from Australia were there. And like a lot of my cousins from, uh, from LA had flown out. And then we were meeting them for dinner. And, uh, and we told everybody there, and it, it got very Armenian very quick. Yeah. Like, it, we, we startled the entire yelling. place. Yeah. yeah. It was nice. Because we came <laughs> in, and they were like, oh, where you guys been? Where are you late? And then so I was like, oh, I don't know. Sorry, we were late. <laughs> and no one noticed at first. <laughs> Sorry, no one, you know, <laughs> we were late. And then the girls saw it, and it was just like these shrieking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Everyone just yeah, turned. Yeah. People were like, me. who's getting murdered? Yeah. <laughs> and did you share the news with Conan? How did he react? I to did. Proposal? You know, Conan was actually one of the first people we called. I mean, obviously, we called our parents first. But he was, you know, we we called him like that day. We, we told him and, and his wife, Liza, who I'm also close to. And they had always said, because when they moved into their new house, they always said they were going to throw us a party. Um, when I got married. And so they, for the first thing they said was, when are we throwing you this party? And we, I didn't know they were serious. And then they actually threw us a 
party. Oh, that's so amazing. it was our, our engagement party was at Conan's house, which was really nice. Yeah, it was it was like a daytime thing. They have this amazing backyard. My my dad and my mom really wanted us to be married before we lived together. And then so we just were like, all right, we'll we'll get married at the courthouse and then we'll move in together and then we'll have the big wedding in August. And they were like, okay. I was shocked they were okay with it. How many people do you have at your engagement party or first wedding? Oh, it was like only, I mean, I was gonna say only, like about 140 people, but <laughs> Such an so, Armenian answer. Yeah. Did you have a, a, a string quartet or anything? Yeah, no, right. no. <laughs> we should have. We should, you would, yeah. Yeah. No, but it was still, but like no one peed in a bush or like. Well. Wow.